just wanted to do a, a few tips or a few things that we actually do for catching a tuna and I'll be the first to admit that I am far no expert tuna fisherman. We've only sort of started targeting them in the last year, basically it's the last year we went hard to try and target them and did very well. So today I just want to share a heap of uh, tips or things that we did that might help you guys catch a tuna in Tasman Bay. So lures, uh, last year when we first started trawling we were using a Black Magic Jet Set, that was one of the lures and a couple of other feather lures. Didn't matter where we put that Jet Set lure, that pilchard coloured one, it got hit every time. And the trips after that, uh, we added more pilchard Jet Sets to it and uh, upped the lures from 3 to 7 lures and we were running 3 Jet Sets and didn't matter where they were, they got hammered. And also running feather lures and the other Lumo Jet Sets, which we got a few on the Lumo Jet Sets, a couple on the feathers, but bulk of the tuna were caught on the Black Magic Pilchard Jet Set. Okay, so that was a really good lure for us. Uh, if you guys have a good lure that works really well for you, um, just post it below or post in the comments because uh, this is all a learning thing for probably most of us in Nelson, unless there's uh, a few expert tuna fishermen out there, which I'm sure there is, but if you've got any tips or ideas too, make sure you post it. So lures that would worked really well for us is that Black Magic Jet Set Pilchard Color. They come pre-rigged with a 100 pound trace and double hooks. So we just buy them pre-rigged and use them and we're running seven lures. So predominantly I'll be running four Black Magic Pilcher jet sets, then I'll run a purple, a Lumo, and maybe a mackerel color, which is the bright uh, green, yellow. And uh, if they keep hitting the pilchers, we'll change the others out. Well, the way I look at it is we're trying to mimic a school of the same colored bait fish. So if you're running generally a bulk of heaps of different color lures and types of lures you're not really mimicking a school of bait fish now I don't know if this is right or wrong but this is generally what we're trying to do so we're trying to mimic a school of bait fish but having a couple of other lures in there maybe just covers our bases but I don't know post below guys if, if you agree with this or have better ideas but this has worked really well for us now the other thing that worked really well was using like our stick bait rods. We don't have outriggers on the boat so we're using our stick bait rods to spread the lures out wide. And if you can, you want to run as many lures as possible. Crack out all the old cheaper rods, whatever. Just remember when you're trolling to loosen off the drag. So basically we're not running the lures more than 20 or 30 meters. We're keeping them all basically in the wash of the boat. Uh, some of them that are extremely close get hit first but generally we've got them no more than 20 meters. We'll run a big tuna lure or marlin lure right out the back, just in case uh, randomly there's something bigger in the bay. Pretty slim chance, but why not try? So we're running a big reel with a big lure right out back. And there could be other bigger tuna in the bay too, like yellowfin. So having a bigger lure also mate, creates more chaos or more action in the water, so it might bring more fish in. But again, this is still a big learning curve for us, so we're just trying different things. Trolling speed, so we're trolling at about seven knots, seven to seven and a half knots. That's what we found the best uh, for Tasman Bay. Generally, most people are trolling anywhere from, I think commercial goals troll anywhere from six to six and a half knots, but we, we've stuck at the seven knots and we've done really well with that. A lure placement, so you want to try and run as many lures as possible. We're running our seven lures at the moment, and basically no more than 20 meters out the back of the boat, and I'm staggering them so generally they're no more than two meters away from each other, so it's all like a little school of fish working together. Jet Set's put out a really big trail out the back, and uh, all of them are condensed in the area, as another thing has worked really well for us. So condense your lures, keep them nice and close, not too far out the back of the boat. Basically you should be able to stand on the side of the boat or stand up and just see where the lures are and get them in nice and close to each other. It's when a tuna hits the tuna goes straight down. So we was driving, pull it back so you're just idling forward and then before you take on the fish in the rod holder, pull all the other lures in. So wind them all in so they're just at the back of the boat. Then one person get on start playing the fish and uh, that why the other person can pull all the rods into the boat. So when a tuna hits, wind all the lures in, and then uh, once you've got them all in, let one person take on the fish, and uh, the other person can clear all the lures and rods out of the way. Uh, a lot of people say once you get hit, you can carry on going forward and hopefully get another hit. 
Uh, we're doing it more for the sport too, because uh, albacore are a big deal in Nelson. We don't get a lot of uh, sort of tuna into the bay, so when they're here, we're trying to enjoy the most of it. So we're not looking for multiple hookups. We're trying to hook up one, enjoy the fight, and then carry on. So hopefully there's a couple of tips in here that'll help you guys uh, catch a tuna. Like I said, if there's anything you'd recommend or any ideas that you know you can uh, give to us, just post them below. Uh, it'd be quite cool to get a bit of a forum going on about this, what everyone thinks and their favourite colours, or if you can post a picture of your favourite colour lure or what's worked for you. But uh, for us, that Pilchard Black Magic Pilchard Jet Set has been uh, spectacular. So hopefully, guys, there's a couple of tips in there that'll help you. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.